Hi guys, welcome to today's session. My name is Kushal Singh and I am your educator from Unacademy. Let me first start this video on the happy note of wishing all of you a very very happy Independence Day. Our independence signifies a lot of things, not for us just personally as people but for all of us as a nation. It stands that we, this was the day we finally became free from hundreds of years of suppression, hundreds of years of oppression, hundreds of years of violence that was done against us. And we won this freedom at our willpower, just out of the sheer determination that we had, just out of the sheer dedication we had to the values of equality, the values of wanting to be truly free, uh, and just wanting our human dignity back. And uh, it's great to see that a nation like ours is today the world's biggest democracy. Uh, so it just sort of goes out to tell us that when a few normal people put their mind to it, they can truly, truly achieve something absolutely extraordinary. And our nation is a living and breathing example of that. So let us not forget our history and let us uh, remember where we came from, what our roots were, what was done to us, what, what what we were devoid of for hundreds of years and what took us a lot of struggle and a lot of sacrifices to win back. That is our freedom. So let us truly live up to the principles of our constitution, of the dreams of our founding fathers and of all those people who sacrificed their lives to be able to give us this freedom, to be able to give us the world's largest democracy, which in itself is a celebration of freedom and personal liberty, where everybody is equal and let us truly strive to create a society like that. So on today's occasion, in today's class, uh, I don't want to talk about subjects and courses, rather I'd like to talk to you about two special individuals uh, who truly hold the, these messages that I just talked about of our India and about our freedom and the highest regards. Because our freedom wasn't achieved by extraordinary people. These were all everyday regular people who chose one day to get up and fight for the freedom of their country. And it is the dedication and the determination they had towards that thought that made them truly extraordinary. And these two people are two such modern day heroes, regular people who have done some extraordinary things in life. When we talk about heroes, when we talk about extraordinary things, all of us imagine people with a lot of resources, people with a lot of power and clout and fame. But no, that is not what both these people are. Uh, these are normal people, everyday people, regular people, just like you and me, who just one day decided that, you know what? Today, I'm going to go out and try and truly make a difference in the life of someone else and truly do an act that makes me happy, that makes me feel empowered and makes hopefully somebody else feel empowered as well. So today I'm going to talk to you about two such individuals who have inspired me and I hope, truly, truly hope that they do inspire you in the same manner that they have inspired me. So let us talk about these two heroes of mine. Right now the picture that you see is of a gentleman by the name of Jadav Payang. Now, if I say Jadav Payang, many of you might not recognize him, but but you might recognize him if I say that he is the forest man of India. Now, what did he achieve? Well, Jadav Payang ha hails from a small river island named Majuli, which is on the Brahmaputra River, which is on the Brahmaputra River in Assam in India. And uh, well, a quick fun fact about Majuli is that it is one of the first islands, river islands to be declared as a district on its own. Now, around uh, a few years ago, when Mr. Jadav, the forest man of our India, was about 16 years old, he noticed that every time there was a flood and then the water retrieved, a lot of snakes and a lot of wildlife would get uh, affected by it because the water would retrieve as soon as it came in and with the flood would come a lot of fishes, a lot of snakes and as the water retrieved they would be left to die in the scorching heat because there were not much trees in that area and around that time uh, the government had started a scheme where they started planting forests around a few areas uh, and a lot of workers were brought in and Mr. Paying 
was also one of those workers who was assigned that task. However, here comes the interesting part. All the work was done in a few years and the authorities left after having planted close to around all these people together 200 hectares of uh, forest land. Now, after a few years when the forest authorities were chasing a few wild elephants who had retreated into a forest, they tried to follow these uh, elephants and they found that there was this massive, there was this huge forest that had grown in the past few years. When I say huge, when they had left the forest, it was around 200 hectares, but when they came back, it was close to 500 hectares. Now, what happened in the past few years that made these 200 hectares of forest land transform into 500 hectares? When it was indeed Mr. Jadav Payag who went out there each day, every day, one day after the other, planting saplings, planting trees, caring for the forest. And this man, all alone, created a 500 hectare forest, my dear friends. When I say 500 hectares, that is almost close to 1,300 acres of forest land. Just one man alone. It marvels me, it surprises me the amount of dedication it would have taken to do this task, the amount of discipline it would have taken every day going back one after the other, planting a forest, knowing that you are a normal, insignificant person, but truly believing that you can do something significant. And I don't think he did any of this for the accolade. He just wanted to truly care for the forest. He truly wanted to care for wildlife. And well, this story tells me two things that if we truly are backing a cause, we should try and do something and we should try to save our environment and our wildlife because it is so important. And the second thing it teaches me is that no, no goal in this world is ever unachievable. No matter how insignificant, how small, how less your resources are, you truly, truly can achieve extraordinary things if you lay your mind. And that is the story of Mr. Jadav Payang. And now I'm going to tell you about my second hero. But before I tell you about my second hero, what do you think? Do you think that normal people can do something truly, truly extraordinary if they put their mind to it? Or do you think it is only a few people who can do it? Well, I truly believe that anybody who puts their mind to it can do it. And I would request all of you young people watching this video to pick up one activity that you do not because, you know, society wants you to do it or that is expected out of you, but because you truly want to give back to society. Let me know in the comments down below what are, is the one thing that you have done for other people, which you would like to do for other people or what is the change that you would like to see in the society and how are you going to do something about it like Mr. Jadav Payan who went back every day into that forest to plant some trees. And turned that into a 550 acre forest. What is it that you are going to do that you think will bring a change in the society? Now, the next hero, in, a hero or hero in rather I must uh, tell you about is this lady. Now, what you see here is, what you see here is her teaching a few kids her teaching a few children who are these children and who is this lady. Does anybody know? So this lady, my dear friends, is Mrs. Bina Ra. And her story is as interesting as the previous one that I told you about. Yes, what you see here is her teaching a bunch of children. And yes, you must have guessed it right that she indeed is a teacher. But it's her story and it's her students who make her special. So a few years ago, inspired by a lot of her uh, inspirations, a lot of her uh, inspirations were people who worked for the society who uh, 
sacrifice their comforts to be able to make this world a better place she decided that she was going to go into the slums of gujarat she was from patan in gujarat and then later on moved to surat and started this initiative where she went into the marginalized communities and started teaching students now why would she do that wasn't the government already doing it but she was aware of the gap between the kind of education that students received in government schools and wanted to fill in that gap and after she started her initiative just within a few years the dropout rates in these slum areas dropped by 80 to 90% and to see that is truly truly remarkable because when she started with this initiative and she when she went into these communities wanting to do something good she initially faced a lot of problems with the community not you know agreeing with what she was doing the community not looking at her like she was trying to help and then later on a lot of bootleggers and mafias who would take these children and get them to work for them for free who would abuse these children they were after her life they even threatened her a lot of times but she stuck to her principles of ahimsa and she knew that she was doing something good and she continued with it uh, and today this institute that she has started this seema rao free the beena rao free classes is an initiative uh, or the paras prayas free coaching center that she has started uh, in 2006 has today expanded all across gujarat and she has taught more than 10000 students thousands of students who have benefited from these prayas classes and it's not just one of those classes where they teach you a few things or they teach you what they taught in class or they take a quiz or they uh, just take uh, you know teach you like a tuition class and ask you to go away no this is truly a holistic education model that helps students improve their life that gives them a better chance at life and that is very very important for these students because they come from schools that might not be as equipped to provide them with a true difference in their life and that is what she's bringing into the lives of these children she's truly bringing them hope and actually giving them an honest to god chance at making their life better to come out of the slums and have and live a life of dignity and to such a teacher who has selflessly worked towards educating all these young children and giving them a fr- bright future we at an academy salute you ma'am the work that you are doing is truly truly remarkable and it really really inspires us yes it inspires me personally as i'm a teacher and i see that someone is truly trying to change their lives of their students it makes all of us very very happy because that is what we at our academy are also all about so i hope guys that you found inspiration in both these people just as much as i found in them let me know in the comment down below do you find them inspiring what is the take away you have from their stories and like i asked you earlier what is the one thing that you would like to do one small thing that you think everybody should do that will make a difference in our society do let me know in the comments down below and before i end the session thank you so much for attending and have a very happy independence day